Hello, my name is Roy B. Man of Merlin. Today we're going to talk about five key tips of how to get you out of that mental slump. No matter how long you've been in it, whether it's been a week, a day, a month, or even years, these are key daily practices that when done repetitively and over and over again will change how you start your day, which therefore changes how your day progresses and how how positive you are at the end of the day because how you start the day is key to how the day rolls out and becomes and how you feel and if you're feeling good at the start of the day you'll be feeling good at the end of the day and you can even do these tips throughout the day to maintain that level of positivity not that it's a false positivity either this is this is about changing how your brain creates your reality, how your brain works with the energy and how you program that massively powerful computer that does everything when it comes to emotions and energy and, and all those kinds of things. So without further ado, let's get into these five key tips. And they're all fairly simple, you know, that the keep watching because they're all important but all really simple all easy to do there's nothing difficult here so key t tip number one blah, 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 blah. tip number one <laughs> key tip is to when you get out of bed in the morning <clears throat> set an alarm always get up as though now whether you're at work or you work for yourself or you know you've got a regular job that gets up in the morning if you have to do things to facilitate this, set the alarm a little bit earlier. So the first key one, make your bed. It's it's so simple and but it's amazingly profound what that does as how that because it sets it's the first thing you do is the first thing you do is create organization. That's gonna start that process of organization within your mind, within your thoughts. And it's already going to start you be focused on the day and on the habits of the day. As men, we are very logical. We need something to achieve and a problem to fix and something to complete. So by doing that in the very beginning, that's certainly key. A very simple and very easy thing to do. Irregardless of whether you've got a doona or a sheet and another sheet and just take that time. If you actually timed it, it would only take a few minutes. So take a few minutes out of the beginning of your day to create a, that start, to change in that mood. And as you do that every day, you will notice a change and you will notice a difference, I guarantee it. So I've done it myself. So making your bed, making it look nice and neat. You don't have to do it perfect, like hospital corners, that kind of thing. Just make it look tidy and, and tidy and neat. So that's tip number one. And also remember to like and subscribe this channel. And also if you've got any of your own tips, I welcome you, please uh, post them in the comments below. And, and you can share all of those tips with others watching this video. So it doesn't just become about five tips, it becomes about 50 or 500. The more tips, the better. Um, so yeah, I look forward to reading those. Now, tip number two, which is this is all about I'm cre actually creating a very powerful morning routine. And as much as I do these videos for men's health, this definitely applies to females as well. So anybody, it applies to absolutely everybody. So if you've been in that funk of a mood for however long, it doesn't matter. Do this every day, make it part of your morning routine, whether you've got, whether you work or whether you don't. If you don't work and you're looking for work, it's probably even more important because it, it gives you a sense of belonging and a sense of meaning to start the day, even if there's no place to go to, to facilitate that. So tip number two, take pride in your appearance. Again, like when we're in that slump, and I've been there, I'm talking from personal experience here, we just feel like we don't have to do it or we don't have to care or don't have to iron my shirt or it, what does it matter? That it matters to you 
personally. It's not about how you look to everyone else. It's about how you actually treat yourself at the start of the day. So taking pride in your appearance. So morning routine, get up, make your bed, have a shower, clean your teeth. If you need to shave, have a shave. If you need to trim your beard, trim your beard. Look neat and tidy. Again, it's that neat and tidy. Taking pride in your appearance so that when you look in the mirror, you go, yeah, actually, I can face the world today. And even if you don't feel like facing the world, you can face yourself. And as again, as that habit grows, and as you do that every day, and bring that into your daily routine every morning, that also compounds and adds to this positive energy and this sense of belonging and this sense of, I'm here to do something on top of making your bed. Key, another, see, it's so simple. And it'd be amazed that when you're in that slump, you don't, you stop doing those things. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter what got you in that slump. What matters now and what this video is about is to taking steps, simple, easy steps that don't take a lot of energy, that don't take a lot of effort to start getting you out. And it will take time. This is not a quick fix. It's not gonna take a week. For some people it might take a week. We're all very different. But it will take time. And as long as you keep doing it, you'll definitely 100% get there. So that's tip number two. So on to tip number three. Again, looking after our body. Because um, interestingly enough, there's many reports out there. I can't, I can't quote them, um, but there are because I've seen them. Um, that link what we eat directly links to our mood. So if you're getting up and having last night's pizza every day because you don't cook at night, which is okay, that's fine. It's okay to, you know, we've all got different circumstances. But if you're eating last night's pizza, that's not good for your body. It's not a good energetic food to raise your mood. So tip number three is have a healthy breakfast. Now, when I say healthy, I'm not talking about dietary. I'm talking about what your body considers healthy. To some, that might be celery. To some, that might be cereal. To some, that might be bacon and eggs. I eat consciously and I eat healthily. In other words, I listen to my body. I know what my body needs. So for a couple of days a week, it might be Marmite on toast. And then I might crave cereal or feel like I need cereal. And I'm, I don't tend to ask why. I don't tend to delve deep into it. I, I just follow that intuitive feeling. My body knows what it needs. So if I go into bed going, okay, how do I raise my mood? It's quite likely that in the morning, my body's going to go, well, this is what you need to help raise the mood and keep it steady for the rest of the day. Bananas are a great food because they release energy gradually over time. Fruit, obviously, is one of the most healthiest foods you can have for breakfast. They have so many different kinds of nutrients and minerals and, and, and all those things. Mood is also associated with dehydration. It's amazing how much being dehydrated can affect the body. We are 70% water, so when that's down below an, a normal limit, it's gonna affect all the chemicals processes in our body. So drink water or liquids, coconut water, whatever it is, orange juice. There's so many great ways to start the day and even bacon and eggs, if that's what you feel like, if that's what your body feels like it needs, whether it's a full English breakfast or a hash browns and avocado, Basically, what I'm saying here is, again, take that time to make yourself a healthy meal that's going to last you to lunch or till the end of the day. And then, again, that will compound and add to the positive energies starting to create that amazing daily habit and daily routine that's going to always keep your mood, that's always going to get your mood high at the start of the day. And then it enables you to face the world better and start to face any problems. So if you are one of those persons that is currently looking for work, it will set up your day to go, you know what, yeah, I can apply for those jobs. I feel more confident to go to that interview. I feel more confident. So yeah, it's absolutely imperative 
to have a healthy breakfast even a couple of boiled eggs you know five minutes it can take to have a decent breakfast rather than just throw yes last night's pizza into the microwave so another one this is the one where yes you, if if you've got that kind of time in the morning before you start work if not do it in the middle of the day or at the end of the day some this this tip tip number four can be done throughout any time throughout the day and it will help with your mood you can do it two or three times a day and this is basically as simple as going for a walk getting outdoors now if you have to drive somewhere to drop to take a short drive to go for a walk in some woods going for a walk at the woods or at the beach you know if you're in a city and you can get out of the city that's probably preferable but even going for a walk around a shopping centre if the weather's not great whatever it is going for that walk and holding those feelings of releasing all that mood and just shaking it off and walking it off and that fresh air movement through your lungs and your body just re again really really helps and you can do a five minute walk a 10 minute walk a 15 minute walk, however long even if you just walk to the end of the road and sit in the park and read a chapter of a book or sit and look at the listen to the birds or just watch go people watching it helps raise your mood and it's such a simple thing we can do you know if, if your ability to walk ain't great and you can cycle or you can go for a swim even if you need you, know, you use forms you know, like the mobility scooters and things like that to help you get around a two minute walk out, outdoors walk around the garden you can adapt it to fit your situation and your challenge and it will definitely help you raise your mood coupled with making your bed and keeping up your you know tending to your appearance all those things they all culminate together to make your energy and your mood positive much better than if you're not doing any of these things because not doing any of these things or any technique you, you're staying you're choosing to stay in that low vibrational mood and that rut so these things help you get out of that rut again practice perseverance and consistency keep doing this it's not going to happen overnight nothing that helps on the long term can really be done overnight and those videos out there that say that they're probably doing it for likes and clicks I'm never going to be the one that says you know, there's no overnight success anybody that has overnight success has worked long and then it just happens that people only see when that tipped and this will be the same like do the inner work do the work and then all of a sudden your mood will change people go oh what made you happy all of a sudden and it's like because you've been doing you've been making your bed for a month and you've been having a shave or you know looking after yourself and also part of that morning routine of shaving and you know, put on a clean shirt each day or a clean t-shirt I'm a t-shirt person you have to look business smart but it's about clean clothing that also helps um, so yeah you know what made you happy overnight well it didn't really I've just been putting the work in so that's tip number four going for a walk and then tip number five so this is where you can have a bit of downtime in the morning again if you're always rushing around to get to work the simple solution is just get up a bit earlier and if you feel well not getting enough sleep then get up a bit a bit earlier you know the, the, don't use the excuse of like there's not enough time we can create time by changing how we allocate that time and again with persistence and consistency and perseverance we can change any habit and remove any excuse as long as we take that effort to remove it you know I'm part soon to be part of a platform called excuseless which helps people with daily routines and little tips and tricks to overcome those excuses so definitely look out of that it's going to be out really soon an amazing platform I, I, I can't put the link in the comments because it's not out 
up and running yet. It's in the final stages. Remember, please like and subscribe to this channel because I'll still keep doing my videos on men's health and spiritual journeys and, and, and everything that helps with energy and emotions and mental challenges and physical stuff and, and all these kinds of things. And so, yeah, tip number five, laugh. Bring joy and laughter into your life. If you've got kids, like spend time with them in the morning and just mess around. Kids know how to do joy and how to do laughter. And also then that encourages them that they start the day with joy and laughter. That is the most powerful thing to raise your mood. Whether you need, you know, if you live on your own, but there's something you enjoy, whether it's gaming, you, you can spend five minutes just to lift that mood. Or, and I know it's not easy to do five minutes of gaming, trust me. I've been a gamer my whole life, so yeah, I, I know that fine line. And, but also, like, you know, because of how social media is these days with TikTok and YouTube shorts and reels and those kinds of things, there is a, you can sort of find a comedy channel to subscribe to that's just got a little sketch or a little snippet of a TV show that you find amusing that brings that laughter into your day at the beginning and you can do that's another thing you can do throughout the day you can do you know bringing in laughter is probably the most key aspect of these five tips it again that's another thing that's been scientifically proven to actually heal the body so by bringing in that laughter and joy and fun and especially if you've got kids and you're doing it, it's going to help you connect with your kids which also raises your mood so doing these things consistently every day well by, by within a month you're gonna see a difference and you're going to be facing life in a very different set of eyes and a very different energy and a very different mannerism and people are going to notice not that it's about them but it's good to get feedback too so those are the five tips there's obviously a lot more and like I said place the comment place your tips in the comments so I can read them and I'll respond to them I really look forward to those comments and if you know anybody that's having a rough time of it share this video send it to them and say look these five key tips like they're going to massively help you it doesn't take a lot of effort as I said not much effort not much energy to make a profound difference in your life so thank you for watching I appreciate all the support and helping this channel grow and I'll see you on another video real soon take care